Kids need camp now more than ever. Each year, more than 11,000 youth from across the state participate in 4-H camping pro programs at North Carolina's 4-H educational centers. The 4-H camping program here in North Carolina is a great way to get your children involved locally. And we're joined this morning by NC 4-H Camps Extension Assistant Angela Brisson for more information. Angela, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. I'm really excited to talk about camp. Yes, this is this was always such an exciting time in my life when I was growing mm -hmm. up. Just camp in general. So I know this is something that children really look forward to this time of year. But right now, it seems that youth are really struggling. Why is that? Uh, that's so true. You know, the pandemic has just added so much more stress onto the lives of young people. And it doesn't really matter what your situation mm -hmm. is. It's been stressful for everyone. Yeah. And young people were already experiencing and under a lot of stress to perform academically, to perform in extracurricular activities. And it's just really been compounded by the pandemic. Yeah. It's it's the isolation that the pandemic has caused. Everybody's had challenges with virtual learning. Um, you know, some families didn't even have access to virtual learning. Either they didn't have the technology at yeah. home or they didn't have broadband access. And we know that social connection is really important for the emotional well-being and health of, of young people. And so uh, we really think that's what's happening. The disconnection, uh, the being stuck at home, right. being removed from all of the, not just the academic pieces at school, but all of the fun things, the mm -hmm. lunch times and the social activities and sports, you know, all of those things are, are really important to the emotional health and well-being of, of young people, as well as, as academic success. So, you know, the pandemic has really just compounded um, the, the stress on, on young people. Absolutely. And camps, like you said, other activities, just ec recreational fun really yes. makes such a big difference. Yes. So how do residential camping programs address the problems for young people? Yeah, there's really, um, there's no tool as powerful as the camp experience yeah. to make a positive impact in the lives of young people. And in response to the pandemic, our kids really need stability right mm -hmm. now. They need security. They need to feel safe and calm their fears. They need to unplug from the technology and get back to, to building social connections with positive role models and adult mentors. Um, and so the camp experience experience provides all of this for young people. In particular, at our North Carolina 4-H camps, it's really a, a safe place to take risk and to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Um, and that's really important for developing a sense of, of self-confidence, right. of independence. And you know, these young people go home and they believe in themselves in a way that they didn't before. And that really does help with that, that um, emotional health and well-being piece. Um, you know, they have a routine every single day at camp. They know what to expect. They have to get up and uh, clean their cabin and make up their bed and set the table in the dining hall. You know, they get responsibilities and they learn what it means to, to be a responsible young person for themselves and um, for, for other people. It's, it's an experience that lasts for a week, but it really has lifetime impacts. We've had parents call us before and say, what did you do to my child? <laughs> He's making his bed. He set the table. <laughs> did you go back to their families in a much more positive and healthy mental? state. Yeah, I would imagine. So, so is this something that families can afford or is this something that they need to, you know, ask for assistance on? How does that work? Yeah, that's a great question. And uh, before I answer that, I just want to say, you know, we're talking about uh, the young people, but let's be honest, our parents need a break right. too. Um, this has been a very stressful experience on them. And so they can have the confidence when they send their, their child to a North Carolina 4-H camp that they're going to a safe environment where they're mm -hmm. going to learn and be guided by positive uh, youth and adult role models. Um, in terms of affordability and how you actually get to a North Carolina 4-H camp, we really do offer uh, a great value for yes. the experience. All of our camps are American Camp Association accredited, okay. which is the leading professional um, industry um, organization for camps in North America. And that basically means that we're adhering to the highest standards of safety and program quality. Um, if you go to our website, nc4hcamps.org, you can get all the registration information. Um, if you uh, sign up directly through one of our camp websites, um, which is what we call an open enrollment camper, that's $625 okay. for a week of camp. And the week starts on Sunday afternoon and goes through Friday morning. Um, however, because we're a 4-H organization, we have 4-H agents in every single county and the Eastern Band of Cherokee, Indiana, across the, the state of North Carolina. And 
you can call up your local cooperative extension office, get in touch with that 4-H agent, and they'll be able to offer you a discounted rate of $500 Amazing. Uh, for the week of camp. We also provide scholarships. Um, get in touch with those 4-H agents to find out about scholarships, and our counties do lots of fundraising on their own as well. And so there are many kids that we send to camp for as little as $25 or $50. Um, we really don't want um, economics to be a barrier to kids going to camp. We really believe that every child uh, should at least have the opportunity to go to camp if they want to, and we do our best to make that happen. Something that kids can look forward to at camp is arts and crafts and other fun activities. So what do we have here? Absolutely. So we have a paper mosaic craft okay. here, and uh, we're actually going to put this up on our website uh, so parents can go to nc4hcamps.org and download these PDFs. Uh, but you just print out uh, the mosaic, and I've gotten it started here already. And then I took some uh, colored construction paper and just did that into a few strips. You can do this with a paper cutter, or you can do it with uh, rulers and a scissors. Super easy, super fun, very creative. You can get as detailed with this as you want. I've been pretty um, <laughs> just eyeballing the pieces of paper, but you can um, use a, a ruler and a pencil uh, to get really exact shapes on this, and then you just fill out uh, fill out the mosaic, and it's a really fun arts and crafts Awesome, activity I used kids. to love this kind of thing gets my creative juices flowing so That's I know right. a lot of kids out there are just like me okay so where can people go for more information if they want to send their family their children to these 4-H camps um, how do they get in touch or get involved yeah so everything is on our website okay. nc4hcamps.org we have three camps in the state we have the Eastern 4-H Center which is out at the coast it's on the uh, beautiful Bulls Bay near the Outer Banks uh, we have Betsy Jeff Penn 4-H Center which is just north of Greensboro and then Millstone 4-H Camp which is down around Southern Pines um, they're all, uh, they've all have their unique kind of flavor right. and they're in very different parts of the state. Um, but you're going to get a similar high quality camping experience no matter which camp you go to. So Angela, um, thank you so much for all of that information. Guys, if you want to sign up, the website is right there on your screen. All right, guys, if you go to their website today, you can enter for a chance to win a free week of camp at the location of your choice. We're going to be right back.